Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a quick clip and I'm gonna show you what happens when you connect these two battery packs, really any two battery packs, in parallel when they have different voltages. Sorry, Addie's a little slobbery. The poor girl's sick. Yeah, she just wants her daddy. So, uh, but anyways, on with the video. I have both of these connected right now in parallel. I built everything, meaning all the cables, connections and everything are capable of up to, man, it's been a while. I think it was 255 amps. I'm pretty sure it's 255 amps to, that will transfer between one battery and the other, but I've never even seen anywhere near that. You have to keep, keep in mind when you're using one of these campers, half of the power is gonna be coming from the T-Rex and half is gonna be coming from the towing vehicle, in this case, my Lightning. So if the motors are demanding 150 amps, half is coming from one, half from the other. But anyways, on with this little test. This is gonna be a fairly big difference, but I'm confident that this will work because I've done it before. But also, I don't know if any of you guys watched EVTV or know of Jack Ricard, but the guy was awesome. I mean, I've never met him personally, but I think just with how gruff he was and his personality, I think we would have maybe gotten along. I don't know, maybe not. He didn't get along with many people. But in his testing, in his videos, there was one video I remember. He connected a Tesla battery pack, I think that was 90% charged to another one that was 20% charged. So it was a pretty big difference. I know, baby girl, you wanna get down? So it was a pretty big difference and nothing burnt down. I think later he did have some issues <laughs> and he had a little bit of fire with a different experiment, but that doesn't matter. So right now you can see these two, you can see the voltages, 190 volts and 379 volts. That's the truck, that's the camper. And right now what I'm going to do is connect these guys in parallel. I'll point the camera right at it and we'll see what kind of amperage we get. 97 amps is the peak that I just saw right there. So you can see it drops down pretty quickly. I mean, that's some serious power, but as long as the system is built for it, it'll take it. So right now I have power coming from the truck into the T-Rex camper and we're stationary, obviously. We're not moving anywhere. No error messages on the dash. The truck is happy. It's already dropped a percent. I, oh, and by the way, I love that this new update has the battery percentage on the dial on the left. Okay. I don't know if you can see it right there, but it says 97%, which it didn't used to say. So that's awesome. I'm really, really glad they added that. They really needed to have more data. So that's cool. But here we are, it's still dropping. Right now we're at 59 amps and dropping. So I'm not testing the time or anything. That doesn't really matter. I'm just connecting these because Caleb and I are gonna be going on a road trip and I'm gonna be testing the range. It's not gonna be a fully charged test probably because I don't really have time for that, but we'll see. But well, that's it for now, guys quick video on what happens when you connect two batteries in parallel that are different voltage. Obviously nothing caught fire. Everything is fine. I've done this literally hundreds of times, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys finally. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to take the sick girl inside. Bye. <laughs>